She's a fast-talking, no-nonsense love doctor who has gained popularity from her very successful show on Bravo, The Millionaire Matchmaker. Patty Stanger joins us tonight to talk about the do's and don'ts of dating to make sure you can find true love if you're looking for it. Patty, thanks for joining us tonight. Hi, Heather. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Well, I love Millionaire Matchmaker, but for those who haven't seen the show, tell them what makes you so good at fixing people up. Um, I'm third generation matchmaker. I actually worked at the largest dating service in the country, Great Expectations, and I just know how to read vibration. I got it. I know who belongs with who since I was a kid. I think I'm psychic in some ways. I don't know. That's what everybody says I am. So yeah, and you definitely tell people how it is. Now we had a lot of women email us saying they're single and ready to date, but they don't know how to get that guy from across the bar to come over and ask them out. So what do you suggest? Well, in Hotlanta. Uh, there are tons of guys all over the place. So I was at the Laker game on Sunday. And what I noticed that you do is you do the five second flirt, which is on my DVD, How to Get Married in a Year, which just came out on Amazon. And basically, you're signaling with your smile. So I'll play with you, okay? So here's how it goes you, you take your hair in your hand and you go like this. And then you look away. And when he sees that, four things are going to happen. One, he's going to cross the street to buy you a drink because he notices your drink needs to be refreshed. Or you're not his girl. You're a blonde. He likes a brunette. Uh, maybe he's in a relationship, okay? Or he's married. Look for the ring before you do it, okay? Or he's switch hitting for the other team. Or he's the passive aggressive male, which means he wants you to come over to him. And in that case, you don't want him. So that's how you're going to weed out the boys from the, the real men. I like that. So if he doesn't approach you, he's not interested and you should move on. Now, if you do get that date with him, what are some of the cardinal rules for a first date? Okay, no TMI, no too much information about your skeletons in your closet. Don't tell him you're unemployed or your mother left your father for a younger woman. You know what I mean? Don't do that, okay? The second thing is don't drink excessively. Two drinks maximum for girls. We can't, if you're a thin girl, you cannot carry alcohol, okay? You gotta like seal it and always stay with the same liquor. Don't mix. Um, the third thing is, be appreciative. Say, like, thank you for taking me to dinner. That chocolate mousse was amazing. Like, you got to tell the guy on the date that you're enjoying his company, and that's how you do it. And don't call him. You got to let that rubber band stretch so he misses you enough to say, that girl was really cool. I'm going to call her for Saturday night. You want him to call you by Wednesday for Saturday. And if he calls you Thursday for Saturday, say, I'm sorry, I'm busy, but I'd love to see you Sunday. So you say thank you at the date, but let him make the next move? Yeah, you do not call him. You don't text him, thank him, nothing. You wait for him to engage you. When you're in a monogamous committed relationship, that is when you can start texting and calling him, but not till monogamy, because you don't know if he's with another girl when you call, and that's going to make you feel cr like crap. Okay. Now, what about when it comes to couples? What do you suggest for people to keep that magic alive and maybe suggestions for Valentine's Day? Well, one of the things I'm doing right now is I partnered with Cottonelle Ultra, and they created this fabulous website called CottonelleUltraSwitch.com. They're giving away 90 prizes in 90 days, and some of these are reconnection things, such as like manis and petties and massages. That's what you need to do to spice it up. So let's say, for instance, Valentine's Day is coming around the corner. You want to make sure that he's going to make that reservation. So put little hints. Put little like tear out sheets of like you know your local Atlanta magazine saying, oh look they're having a great dinner here, prefix, it's not expensive. I'll dress up, you'll dress up, and you'll get nooky with that. Now we have to be honest. A lot of guys don't take hints very well. So if a guy says, just tell me what you want, should we tell him? That's okay. If he says to you, tell me what you want. Do you want diamonds? Do you want pearls? Say it. Show it. Take out the article from the magazine or take him to the mall. It's okay to do that. What do you think is the biggest mistake people make on Valentine's Day? They forget it, and then they, they complain about it. They complain that, like, you forgot Valentine's Day, and, da, da, da. and then he's like, well, you know, it's a two-way street, so did you. And, like, it's not all about the guy doing everything for the girl. It is a two-way street. I want flowers, but then again, I'm gonna, maybe I'll make you a home-cooked meal, and I haven't done that in months. Yeah, definitely. Maybe we'll stay in, and I'll get the jacuzzi flowing, and, I'll, and you get the champagne. Like, become a partnership. Now, again, we have a lot of singles here in Atlanta, so what should singles do on Valentine's Day? Well, this is like what I tell, you know, I'm friends with the Housewives of Atlanta, and like they're all single right now. Nene, this is for you, okay? So here's what you do. You go out on Valentine's Day, and not with your gay husband, okay? Because the key is if he's out, 
he's looking for girls and he doesn't have a girlfriend. Otherwise, he'd be with her that night, okay? Because that's the one night they know they can get sex. And they know how desperate women are. So go out with maybe one or two girlfriends. Don't take like seven of them. Like the posse is too much for the guy to infiltrate. And smile and signal with the five-second flirt. He comes over. He could be your husband by next year. <laughs> I think you could work some magic in Atlanta. I know, I know, I know Cherie and Nini, they kept saying it. I, I said Millionaire Matchmaker needs to infiltrate Hotlanta. You tell that to Bravo. Okay, I'll call them right now. <laughs> Patty, thank you so much for joining us on Hot Topics. Now, if you want to see more of Patty, make sure to watch Millionaire Matchmaker on Bravo.